Well, Rory, welcome back. Are you glad to be back at Falkirk? Oh, without a doubt. Um, as soon as I heard of the interest, there was only one place I wanted to be. And um, it took a little while to make it happen, but absolutely delighted that it has happened. Now, you, last season, of course, you had a spell in the Championship, so I know what it's all about. And this, Has it changed any since you were last in the Championship? Um, it's very competitive. Uh, obviously, it was a unique scenario. I went into last year. I mean, every week was a, a must-win game, given the, the scenario that Sitmon were in. Um, but it was just as competitive as ever and just as tough as ever um, and I was disappointed in the end that Falkirk didn't manage to kind of get back to where they, they, they belong because I felt over the course of the games I played they were certainly one of the stronger teams and um, yeah, I was disappointed to the way it worked out in the end. And of course you scored when you came back to the Falkirk Stadium for Sydney, so you'll be looking forward to continuing that well this time in a blue jersey. Yeah definitely without a doubt. Um, that day was huge for Sydney. Um, there was a lot of emotion in the dressing room throughout the six months that I was there because of what was at stake, the amount of times we'd been written off. And, um, you know, it was good to score back here, but obviously um, I like to score for Falkirk, especially at the Falkirk Stadium, so hopefully that can happen a lot, a lot next season. Now, even though you've been away for a, a period of time, you've still kept in touch with a lot of the boys that are, are here and uh, they've kept you appraised of what's been going on? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think that the, the team we had here when I was here the first time round over the two years was quite a tight-knit group and we came so close to so many things um, that you kind of, your friendships form quite easily and I still keep in touch with a lot of them and um, I know I don't need boys to be here to know how, how, how good a club it is and how much um, how much respect I've got for everyone here so like I said I'm just delighted to be back. And of course a couple of the youngsters will be coming through this season hopefully with Kevin Hara and, and Scott Shepard and people like that because they were very young when you were here looking forward to playing with them. Definitely I remember my first trial game here uh, up at Forfar Scott he was just just a pup so he'll be a couple of years um, older now and a couple of years more experienced he was very effective off the bench my first time round so um, you know I expect that he would be kind of progress to a point where he'd be looking to start a lot of games this year. So I'm looking forward to competing with him now and competing with other boys to, to try and get a partnership with somebody, and, um, whoever that may be, um, and, and going from there. And of course, a lot of your older colleagues, the ones you played with in Carlisle, because Lee Miller and Tom Tyler are here as well. So I mean, it's like a reunion of the old boys. Yeah, kind of in a way. I loved with Lee and Tom for a spell down in, in Carlisle. Me and Lee, especially, grew very close over the, uh, a number of years. and. Um, he's someone who I call a friend now off the pitch as well as on the pitch and um, Tom we've always got on great me and Tom as well so um, no, it makes for, for a, a good environment to come into I know all the boys anyway I know all the staff I know the club and um, similar to St Mern in a sense where St Mern's a, a very well run family club and um, Falkirk's certainly the best club I've been part of when it comes to all that so uh, just looking forward to being part of that again And Peter Houston would you know of him and you're looking forward to working with him? Oh absolutely I worked under him for, for a season when I was here obviously I was spoiled by a bit of an injury uh, I think Peter Houston's track record um, as Falkirk manager speaks for itself um, you know he's a straight talking manager who, who knows exactly what he wants and exactly what he needs and uh, I think everyone responds to that and um, I'm really looking forward to, to seeing him again and working with him again and not just him but Mabes and, and James who the first time round as well were exceptional in, 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 the, in the things that they could contribute to the, to the coaching side of things so I'm looking forward to just working with everyone as a whole again. And of course uh, unfortunately you've just said slightly too late the boys are out in Budapest and apparently it's frosting hot weather out there and it's freezing here. Um, how will that affect your, your pre-season My pre-season? Well I've been working very hard at Dundee. We were back in on the 23rd Third, with all the testing that comes with the first day and then double sessions every day since so I've been working very very hard I've been out in Budapest with Dundee my first season there so I know about the heat uh, great facilities and great that uh, Falkirk have went out there but I uh, just missed out on it but in terms of my fitness levels I've been working very hard under Neil McCann up at Dundee over the last two or three weeks so I'll be, I'd like to think I'd be at least on par with everyone and of course when you come in you'll have David McCracky to face and the, the new Jim across here Looking forward to that? Absolutely. Uh, Cracks is big into his fitness and was um, an absolute stalwart when I was here the first time around. Um, you know, great around the dressing room, loved by everyone, and uh, a great guy to still have around the club, whether he's going to be playing or not. He's he's um, he's he's a top man, and everyone had so much respect for him. And I think it's important that you keep people like that around the club. And I think it speaks volumes again for Falkirk as a club that they, they work overtime to keep people like that around because it makes a huge difference to a club. And it makes um, it makes for a winning side if you can have 
uh, people like that uh, keeping the place going. Now you were a fan's favourite the last time you were here, I've absolutely no doubt you'd be the same this time, are you looking forward to playing in front of the fans again? Definitely, definitely. Um, I've always kind of had an affection with the Falkirk support since my first time around and uh, I hope to continue that on. Um, they, should, they say you should never never come back, however in my opinion I should never have left so um, I feel there's unfinished business here and I'm, I'm coming back to fulfil that. And of course you've had a few changes in your personal life since you've been away, you've got a young son now, yes. how's that affecting you? Well, um, other than the first six, seven months of sleepless nights, um, he's grown into a little terror so I'll be looking to bring him here and he can he can run the place in a few of the lounges so looking forward to that and uh, no it's been great, unbelievable experience, life changing experience and I think um, you know, being at Dundee was, was great, I'll never kind of speak ill of the club however Having him making me realise, I think, just what's important in life, and I'm, I'm, I'm just glad I'm kind of back here and kind of um, I'm going to be happy again and, and, and where I am and where I'm playing. Now, it's going to be a long season because they always are with the Ryan Brew Cup and all that sort of stuff we've got facing us, but I mean, what's your ambitions for this season with Falkirk? Um, I think the ambition has been promotion for a number of years, and I think it's they've come so close so many times. Even my first time around, we lost one goal at Hamilton, which cost us you know, the chance for a crack at Hibs who um, I think our record against him speaks for itself, so there would have been no doubt who would have won that tie. However, the following year, the Scottish Cup final disappointment. Um, yeah, there's so many disappointments over the years with Falkirk, but they've come so close and been so consistent, so promotion first and foremost, which I think is well within within reach. And then I think you need a degree of luck in the Cups. However, um, I believe us to be one of the strongest, if not the strongest, sides in the Iron Brew Cup, so I would expect uh, a good run in that, regardless of the draw. And then, um, you know, getting through the League Cup group stages is, is what you aim to do to begin with. And the Scottish Cup, well, as my last time here tells you, you just never know. And of course, the first game here is against Still and Albion in the uh, in the League Cup. Uh, that'll be your first game here. You looking forward to that? Aye, I'm looking forward to just being back in around the place and amongst the boys and playing in front of the fans and just kind of going back to how it was before. And uh, I love playing out there. I love the Astro. I love it suits me down at the ground and. I'm looking forward to just getting involved again and, and, and playing against whoever it may be. Well, Rory, from everybody at Falkirk, delighted to have you back and hopefully you'll have as much success and just a wee bit more against yeah. promotion this time round. That'd be perfect.